Hey everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Castanon. Welcome to another No Pause video reaction and analysis. Today we have a request from my awesome Powers of the Universe patron, Richard. He wanted me to check out the Dave Brubeck Quartet with Paul Desmond, but also on drums, Joe Morello, because I had just seen Joe do a solo not long ago and it just blew my mind this guy is so great so who else is in the band of course dave rubrek on piano paul desmond alto sax joe morello on drums and eugene wright on bass this is take five and we've all heard this but man this is gonna be fun to watch this let's hit that play button here we go
the masters. Well, one of the things that I really liked about this, I, I have to start with with Joe Morello's uh, drum solo here, because I'm I'm just like uh, bursting at the seams here. So the first thing he does is he flips his sticks around and he's playing with the butt of his sticks, and that gives him a little extra um, volume uh, for his solo. And it was interesting because I thought I saw him flip them. I wasn't 100 percent sure, but then when I heard him on the cymbal, I knew it was the butt of the stick because that has a different sound than if you're using the tip of the stick to play on that ride cymbal. So I knew he flipped it around when I heard that. And seeing him, I mean, he's such an incredible drummer. Seeing him navigate that kit like it's nothing. And I love it. It's just like, you know, Dave turns around, shoots him the eye, you know, hey, go ahead and take a solo. And, uh, and he just gladly did, you know. And I'm sure that every single solo that he plays is different because, you know, he's got the vocabulary to basically concoct and create and compose uh, a brilliant drum solo every time that uh, he's given the shot. So that was a lot of fun to watch him. He's got very quick hands. Um, a great drummer, incredible drummer. The the interesting about the interesting thing about this song is that it's in five four, and that's why they call it take five. And it reminds me of something that I heard many years ago talking about playing in odd time signatures, and the purpose, or I would say, you want the time signatures to work for the music and not to be gratuitous when it comes to coming up with time signatures as was evident in a lot of progressive rock <laughs> where it was just a weird time signature for the sake of having a weird time signature if there's an weird uh, an odd time signature a weird time signature and you don't feel it then you're using it properly and that's what is beautiful about this it's a great example of a song that's in 5/4 that you don't feel like it's in a weird time signature because of the melody because of what is going on in the rhythm section and everything it's just you just groove in five four and it doesn't feel weird your your body's reacting to it your mind everything that you're that you're feeling feels right doesn't feel like it's in an odd time signature so that's a very important thing to think about when you're playing in odd meters so this is a great example of that um i really enjoyed dave brubeck's uh, staccato chords and he was creating these patterns these rhythmic patterns in his solo that i really really enjoyed and that really kind of um created some excitement and kind of broke things up a little bit from the rest of the tune so i really enjoyed that uh, we didn't get a bass solo uh but uh you know that's okay and and uh you know always hearing paul desmond plays is, is a treat so you know just his tone alone I, I i love but this was a lot of fun i'm glad that uh, at least uh i got to hear joe do a, another drum solo so yes richard thank you so much uh for bringing this to the channel so i could see uh more of mr morello all right come back for more cool stuff we'll see you next time